Oregon safety Patrick Chung is the second-ranked safety on many draft boards. Toddy will pass protect. Lobosol gets hammered. Patrick Chung coming in. No Mosley is a box player. He's about 10 pounds thicker than Lewis Delmas and measures up to the Western Michigan safety in terms of speed, experience, and leadership. Chung frequently punished receivers and ball carriers during his four-year college career. He racked up 384 tackles for the Ducks and earned first-team all-conference his junior and senior season. Chung could excel at free or strong safety at the next level. He has a non-stop motor and a passion for hitting people. He has the same build as former Eagle safety Brian Dawkins, who was the 61st pick of the 1996 draft. We gotta get on the Chung shares Dawkins' passion for the game and knows for the ball. At the scouting combine, Chung ran in the low four fives and put up a solid 25 reps on the bench press. If he was a little faster, he might have been a first round pick. As it stands, he'll probably be a steal in the mid to late second round. Cornerback Jarris Bird was a ball hawk at the University of Oregon. Off play action, Locker looking for Russo, sitting up with the defensive back, and that one is intercepted by Jarris Bird. Bird is a fluid athlete with great hips and hands to go with very good instincts and ball skills. He was extremely productive at Oregon, intercepting 17 passes in three seasons. He also chipped in almost 200 tackles and three forced fumbles. Bird's measured height of 5 foot 10 at the combine was significantly shorter than his 6 foot listing in college and might have eliminated the possibility of transitioning to safety in the NFL. But he is not small. He's a workout warrior with great bulk at 207 pounds. Though Bird doesn't have exceptional speed, he was quick enough to return kicks at Oregon. He's also a tough hitter, an outstanding tackler who's very good at run support. He was a model of durability. He never missed a game to injury in college and ended his career on a 37-game starting streak. Bird is likely a middle-round pick, but his durability and outstanding production in college could make some NFL GMs take another look earlier in the draft. Max Unger, a mighty duck from the University of Oregon, was a workout warrior in the 2009 NFL Combine. He was confident and executed the drills to near perfection. In the pro agility and three cone, he was the third fastest offensive lineman. At the Senior Bowl, he also opened eyes in one-on-ones, and he took the success he had in those drills and was able to carry them over into team concepts. Unger has very good footwork, so he is always in the right position, but at times, his upper body strength can be taken advantage of. In order to compensate for his lack of strength up top, he must increase his leverage by drop stepping. This now puts his body out of position to execute the needed block. Here in practice, as Unger slides to the left, you'll notice his shoulders turn perpendicular, and he ends up squeezing his quarterback's pocket.
Unger stands six foot four and weighs 309 pounds. He was a two-time first team all pack 10 and in 2008, he won the Rotary Lombardi Award, which is given annually to the best offensive lineman in the country who portrays the qualities of legendary coach Vince Lombardi. He played at a high level at center and left tackle while starting 51 consecutive games at Oregon. But there is debate about whether he does them well enough to be consistently good in the NFL. He has a tireless work ethic and is athletic enough to be successful at leading downfield in the screen game. Unger also has the rare ability to snap the ball from the center position and pull around to the second level and block his assignment. The knock on Unger is his lack of strength, but his speed and athleticism compensate for any other deficiencies 